this video tutorial I will cover how to inject dependent object using spring dependency injection by constructor. We can inject dependency by constructor. Constructor argument is a sub element of bean. Using this we can do dependency injection by constructor. We can inject primitive values, string based values, dependent objects, collection values etc. Here you can see the employee class. It has address. So address is called dependent object. This relationship is called hash share relationship. If hash share relationship is there, first dependent object will be created and it will be passed to main class constructor. In this case, dependent object is address object and main class is employee class. Here I have defined the class address. It has three properties city, state, and country, and it has address constructor. And here I have overridden two string method. Here I have defined the class employee. It has three properties ID, name, and address, and it has employee constructor, and it has display employee details method. Employee class has address, so address is called dependent object. This is the Spring configuration file. Here we have specified address object and employee object should be created by Spring container using constructor dependency injection. And address object should be injected to employee object. Constructor argument elements invokes constructor. Type attributes specify int, string, and address. So, in this case, uh, this constructor will be called. Reference attribute uh, used to define reference of uh, another object. In this case, uh, it refers to address object. What objects to instantiate? What objects to configure? how to configure and what objects to be assembled. This information will be there in spring configuration file. In this example, address object and employee object should be created by spring container using constructor dependency injection and address object should be injected to employee object. Spring container read this spring configuration file and it creates address object and employee object and configure the address object configure the employee object and wire the address object with employee object and it manage the complete life cycle of address and employee objects here i have defined the class app here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using getbean method of application context object. I am getting employee object from spring container and displaying the employee details. Here you can see the output and this constructor has been called by spring container and we got employee object from spring container and id is set as 36 name is set as peter and here you can see the address